Oh, Grandma, Grandpa, Uncle Gary, Aunt Debbie, Taylor, Cousin Taylor. Um, I thought I'd give you an update. On what has been going on in my life, I have a feeling that you might still be concerned about what's going on with me. Just want to let you know that I'm A-OK. -okay. Okay, and I mean that wholeheartedly. Today is my 7 times 6 on. New calculation here. Mm -hmm. 7 times 6. So today is my 46th day walking with God. Okay, I've made a commitment to God. I made a covenant with God in the biblical sense. A covenant is agreement. God has blessed me over and abundantly to the point where I can no longer keep all these blessings to myself. So I made a commitment to God. I said, God, if you bless me with your Holy Spirit for the rest of my time here, I commit my life 100% to you. My life is no longer mine. I do whatever God wants me to do. I don't live by my own selfish motivations anymore. Any longer. My life is not my own. The way I look at it, nothing on this planet is ours. Nothing. We don't own one thing. We have the illusion that we own things. Money, cars, clothing, family. But we don't even really own our bodies. Our bodies aren't even ours. God made them. Everything on this planet is, our, is not ours. It's God's. That's why Yeshua told us to carry one another's burdens, to love one another unconditionally. Not only am I supposed to love you, my family, unconditionally, I have to love every single person on this planet unconditionally. That's my calling. I have been going out and telling people about God for 46 days straight. Okay, this is my calling. It's a high calling. It's more important than what Justin does for a living. I can tell you what that. Justin is in trouble. He's ill. He's mentally ill. I'm not mentally ill anymore. Not. I've been through tons of therapy. I know how my mind works. You guys don't. You've never suffered from bipolar disorder. Okay, you have no idea what it's like. I figured it out. I've done therapy. They don't tell you what to do. You have to figure it out for yourself. You've got to figure out how to use your mind. Your mind when it's messed up. I figured it. I uh, the Lord fixed all the broken connections in here. Okay, I'm fine. I've been to many doctors. They don't have a problem with me. They think I'm a bit eccentric, but that's about it. Listen, you know I've been eccentric. I've always been eccentric. Look at my dad. My dad's eccentric. Look like my mom. I was raised by two weirdos. I am the way, just the way God designed me to be. Okay? And if you think I'm suffering from manic or mania, you're dead wrong. Okay? You're dead wrong. Okay? And I'm Gary... That psychiatrist should have called you, psychologist, in the hospital. That's the best I can do for you right now. Maybe perhaps later down the road I can go visit Kitty Labriol in Cooper City again. Which I was planning to do, but I didn't. God had something other in mind. Otherwise, guys, I told you all that I can tell you. And I really hope that you get into the Bible. Grandma, I remember you saying that you believe... All religions lead to God. That is dead wrong. It's a lie from Satan. Look, the pathway to heaven is a narrow gate. That's what Yeshua said. It's a narrow gate. But wide is the highway. Wide is the pathway to lead to hell. Why? Because it's so easy to do whatever the hell we want to do. To live selfishly. To only love ourselves. That's been the lie since the beginning of time. Satan said, just love yourself. You're, you are God. You can do, basically, you can know whatever God knows. You can do whatever God can do. Let me prove to you that's a lie. Let there be Keegan planet. 
Let me create something out of nothing. Let there be stars shooting out of my hands. Let there be a universe. See, I can't do what God can do. We're utterly powerless without Him. Everything on this planet is ours. That's why I committed my life to God, and I'm willing to suffer for it. By the way, I've been suffering a lot for God, which is what He wanted me to do in order to learn just how serious it is. Because Yeshua suffered a lot worse than I had. My life is not my own anymore. I'm giving it all up. The things that I wanted to do are no longer what I want to do anymore. I only want to serve Him. End of story. So please, read the Bible. Not all religions lead to God, Gary, Grandma. You can only get there through Yeshua, Jesus. And I mean this. With every fiber of my being. And I'll pray for you. Best I can do for you. Amen.